Hi, it's Dawson Richard here once again. And um, what what are we, what are we talking about today? Um, we're gonna talk about um, why this game against Florida State for LSU is important. And you could say every game is important, right? <coughs> Any given Sunday, all that, right? Doesn't matter record, all that type of stuff. What what's going into the game, all that stuff, right? Just make sure every game's important, but. It's important in the full aspect, right? And that's what we're going to talk about, the full aspect. I'm not going to talk about what LSU needs to do to beat Florida State or what um, LSU has to worry about with Florida State, right? But I think it's important for LSU to win this game for the simple fact that you look at schedule, right? You are favored to win in nine games. There's only like three games that you can possibly lose on this schedule. If you look on the schedule, right, of all the games that you are favored and you favor in nine, three you aren't, right? So with that info, with that, um, you know, type of, you know, expectations a bit, right? With this new staff, right? We don't even know the quarterback, but just with the staff, with the head coach, there are expectations for LSU to be good this year with that being favored in nine games. And I think if they win this game, right, they they don't lose a game till I don't know, like they can be 5-0 and before they have a chance of losing their first game of the year. And I think that is a very important thing for this first year of Brian Kelly. I talked about expectations, right? There are expectations for Brian Kelly to have a better season than Ed Ogeron, right? You are the most winningest coach and currently in football. And you need to prove that wasn't just because of Notre Dame, not because of um, Cincinnati, and not because of where you coached the first time. I wish I had the name um, currently in my head, but it isn't. Um, but you should probably know what I'm talking about if you know about Brian Kelly. You need to prove that you can win in the SEC. You can prove that you can win with LSU talent. And Florida State is your first m- challenge, right? And sure, you can always say this is going to be an easy game for LSU. I I even think that, right? But there is that, you know, college football is weird like that, right? You never know who can win a game, right? Alabama almost lost four games last year. Like, it's insane about how the level of competition goes. And it's going to be interesting to see, hey, can LSU start off this year better than last year? We all remember that UCLA game. The moment that game looked out of hand, everyone knew Ed O'Dron's buyout was coming. And if you, and if you lose this game, you already got the doubts, right? Everyone knew that you weren't going to be competing for a national championship this year, right? But they're expecting a better level of football. And I think a better level of football means beat Florida State, right? I think a good point of contention here, even if... And I, I talk about this, right? Um, beating Florida State. But I think the bigger picture with Florida State is show that you are a better coach team than, Flor- than Florida State. And also, because if you're a better coach team than Florida State, you're better v- already than Ed Ogeron's tenure in LSU. You're already better than the last years of Les Miles, right? That's, that's also the important part here. Seeing that you have improvement in that aspect, the coaching aspect. You may not have the roster yet. You may not ha- are confident in your quarterback one just yet. Th- the competition is still going, and by Monday or Tuesday, this is being recorded on Sunday, we're going to be knowing who the quarterback is and for this game. And it's going to be interesting come that time when you – can see what is it that Brian Kelly wants to do this year and um it's gonna be very interesting and I hope you guys are follow along with me as we go through this journey of the first year with Brian Kelly if you enjoyed this video like subscribe comment do all of that if you enjoy this content I just hit 75 subscribers that was a goal of mine we're now on the road to 80 subscribers and after 80 85 so if you are interested in helping me reach that then hit the subscribe button and uh, as well, more content is on the way with videos like this, both for the 49ers and the LSU Tigers. And also, 
shorts. I'm very much into making shorts in between my content to keep you guys invested in this channel. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, as I said before, like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed my content. And I will see you guys for the next LSU video.